All right, really excited about this. This is a uh, this is the film that I uh, finished on my first vlog, so that's even more exciting because it, it has some history. But guys, I can't wait to see this. Oh yes, I did take the bridge in Laval. And I have some palm trees from my trip to Jamaica. And I have the pictures I took uh, last Friday, actually. I came here before. It's currently minus 19 degrees Celsius. There's a nice... Uh, fog on the water um, and I came here about two weeks three weeks ago when we had a uh, just a light snow and I took some pictures on the shore now this is beautiful it's right under the bridge so I'm gonna bring you there but it's freaking cold and I don't have much time to do this so yeah let's do this this is this is what I'm talking about yeah, this is beautiful. It's going to be silhouetted on top of that. Oh my god, this is nice. Look at that. Even just this is nice. This is beautiful. So right now I'm going to put myself on auto. I'm all the way cranked up. I'm at 400. And you know what? I'm gonna try this bracketing on this. So right now if I, um, infinity. Ah, uh, that's, that's really nice. I don't know if I'll, able to capture I'm open all the way up and it tells me 250 Whew. so handheld is not gonna be a problem uh, just want to make sure I I compose it properly Take a few shots of this oh, this is F, F6, I want the bridge in focus, so I'm set to infinity, should be good about the bridge, yeah, the bridge is in, is in focus, there you go, let's do this, where's my, oh, it's through the roof, so I can't, F6 is through the roof, I'm already a thousandth of a second at F8, so let's try F11. Okay, you know what? My foreground seems out of focus, so this is what I want. Okay, so this is nice. Okay. I get the feeling that this is uh, maybe I should set my focus on the on that there yeah that's nice and maybe now since I get this in focus okay so I was probably out of focus for uh, let me see out of range should I say oh 
I am frozen. So now I took a few pictures. Actually, I took six pictures, which is very decent. The last two, th three pictures, actually, I bracketed. So neutral at zero, auto mode. Uh, you know what? The auto mode on this camera is excellent. Never failed me so far. Even night photography went full auto and it did the trick. Uh, yeah, so I'm frozen. I'm going back to the car. Whew. Oh my God, this is cold. That was really cold. It's been a few days I haven't created, I haven't shot anything. I was caught up in, the, in work related stuff and um, I got this new bad boy that I'm filming on right now it's a Nikon Z6 and I'm out of breath <laughs> really so this is a Nikon Z6 I'm filming with quite an expensive baby um, if we're talking about it right now I did part of my first unboxing uh, with the Atomos Ninja and I plugged everything in and some part were missing so I got all that um, and once you add on the XQD card and the, uh, the hard drives and everything to have everything working out the same as my old camera I think I'm around four thousand uh, dollars invested in this but the image quality is insane so i'm digressing there but this was good i am on a kodak ultramax 400 right now which is cool and if i mix a bit of both uh, subjects uh what i really like about this new camera is it's a full frame camera and this is full frame so if you know where i'm going with this you're gonna get that those lenses that I use on my vintage camera I, uh, I bought myself an adapter and I'm gonna be able to use them on this new camera which is amazing because you get the you get the quality and the texture on the pictures of old uh, lenses on a new camera and the uh, night uh, night photography videography on the new camera is really really grainless almost even I high ISO so really excited because I intend to I intend to buy more vintage cameras that means with a simple adapter I'll be able to use all the lenses of all my vintage cameras on this camera <music> Montego Bay right now and I thought I uh, would do some of uh, my vintage photography here in this beautiful paradise. I was expecting a blue sky but hey nature is uh, uh, uncontrollable. So I'm gonna take a few pictures here and I'm gonna go uh, maybe, take, uh, maybe take another few pictures on the resort and uh, the sun is right. That's cool. It's giving a really nice light. So I'm gonna shut up <laughs> and get to work right now.
right, it's been a while since I did my first vlog. And uh, in this envelope, I finally have the printed version of my uh, last shots, last exposures that I did on my first vlog. And I'm really excited to show them to you guys. So let's see. All right. So this is the first shot I took on my first vlog. So this, there's, there's, there's got to be something special about this picture. But uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's been what? I think it was in January. We're mid March right now. So it's already been two months. Time flies by. So I really like this one. I like the fact that uh, I have my thirds properly arranged and composed. So this one I like a lot. Might work a bit on it. So this is a different version than the. Uh, uh, this is a different version than the uh, the first one. Just uh, landscape versus portrait. I like it a lot too. I like the graffiti. I think I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a zine, a zine, or a, maybe a photo book with uh, all the graffitis in Montreal. Maybe someday if I have the time. So if I go back on my third one, it's a very similar picture, very similar to the first one. But see this one. I like it a little less because my thirds are not properly composed. So yeah, I like the first one better. Oh, this was this one is an interesting one. This one is an interesting one. Again, this probably go gonna go in my graffiti series. Uh, if you remember my first vlog, this is in a part uh, of Montreal where there used to be a lot of uh, manufacturers and industries. So it's a bit more uh, industrial than anything. But I like this one. I like the fact that my tree right there is completely blurred. And I have a good shot at the, uh, the, the van there. All right, this one, I'm a bit disappointed because um, I really thought it was gonna be uh, more interesting. It's a it's a mini uh, mini Cooper in a tiny tiny parking spot in between. It was probably for horses horses or uh, something like that back in the days and. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to work it uh, in Lightroom, but I'm disappointed. I really thought this would be a highlight. But hey, what you're gonna do? It is what it is. Enjoy the process. Yeah, this other one there. Interesting. It's like real life. You see a van backing backing into a, a, a driveway maybe probably to unload some stuff uh, and then you see a car passing by not too crazy about it maybe in a few years it's it's gonna it's gonna get more value because trucks are gonna be different and cars are gonna be different but it's a nice picture overall I like the blue sky and all my pictures I I hadn't realized but the sky was really really blue that day so yeah and uh, now we're uh, almost finishing up this thing uh, it's interesting it's Montreal nothing much to say about this one same here I like this one more more than the other one it's kind of the same shot but differently um, i like the layers but this picture doesn't talk to me except that there are some graffitis and and whatnot but yeah 
that's what it is. Sometimes you uh, you try stuff and it doesn't turn out exactly the way you want it. Uh, and then I have this one. This one is a uh, this one is interesting. There are there there are a lot of graffitis um, all over the place. It's very industrial. I would see this in a man cave someplace. So uh, yeah, like those uh, big green cylinders against a blue sky, and then a bit of snow dirty snow adds up to the uh, to the uh, industrial side of things and then graffitis all over the place uh, I like the I think it's my last one this one is it yeah it's my last one I like this one a lot too because there's someone right there in the corner the right corner uh, bottom corner adds up to the to the thing but I don't know if I like the the one without any human. I don't know. They're different. They're different. I I I couldn't say. I think they both have some value depending on what uh, what what you want to use use it for. So this is my review of uh, the pictures that I took on my first vlog. So I hope you liked uh, you like this. Also, I uh, um, I would like to comment on this. This whole roll was done on um, was done on Kodak Ultramax, I think Kodak Ultramax. It's not Portra, so it has a bit of uh, a bit more contrast. It's it's a uh, it's a lot less smooth. Um, I think I like Portra a lot. I'm not sure I'm gonna buy Kodak uh, Ultramax anymore. Uh, you can you can play with it in Lightroom, but really the point of having shooting film is to get that look without having to play too much uh, with the picture itself. So so far so good. I like uh, I like the role that I uh, that I shot on on that 36 exposure roll. Uh, I'm happy and I'm happy about uh, this vlog and and hold on hold on I'm excited guys I'm excited because okay it's been it's it's been a bit of a while that I bought this about a month ago a month and a half ago not too long after I shot my first vlog I was, you know, just scrolling on Kijiji and I came, uh, I actually ended up finding this uh, little baby, um, which is a, a Nikon FG20, which is a pretty good camera. I came with three lenses. And I've already started shooting it, but I haven't finished uh, my first roll on it. So I hope there there isn't any uh, light leak in it on it, or any um, you know malfunction of any sort. But I'm really excited. Now I have, so far at this point in time today, I managed to uh, add three additional cameras. But this is the one that I uh, started testing. So I. The rolls that you've seen so far was on my Olympus, and uh, now I bought this uh, little bad boy here, which is in about the same era. Uh, I think it's in the 80s, something like that. And they're very similar cameras, and that's really fun because in this one I have Portra 800 collar, and on my Olympus now I have uh, Ilford black and white. Uh, and that's that's the that's what it gives you having multiple cameras in your collection allows you to have different films and depending on the vibe of the day depending on your uh, your mood or where you're going you can grab one camera and uh, just go for it or sometimes just grab both cameras and just play you know do the same picture but in different uh, in the, on a different film so I'm really excited. I can't wait to finish this roll. I'm at 
30 so it shouldn't be long before I finish this roll and have it uh, processed uh, and let's hope it's not malfunctioning and again if you remember uh, I told you uh, just a, a while back uh, having more cameras I'm also able to use my lenses on this camera which is exciting really exciting so this is an adventure a journey that I'm that I've started up almost a year ago and uh, yeah and on that note if you like any of the pictures you see in this uh, in this vlog they're gonna be shortly on my website so uh, feel free to go on my website and uh, share the love I hand sign them and you get a, a certificate of authenticity some of them are limited editions so if you want to grab a copy for yourself uh, if you like my work please do so don't forget to subscribe hit the bell button like everybody says and i really hope you enjoyed uh watching me going about uh, my uh, photographic journey and uh maybe in a few years people are going to look back at this video but right now it's march 19th we're in the midst of a pandemic coronavirus so really this is a way for me to get away from all the fear nothing nothing bad happened to my family but we're all uh, quarantined right now as of we speak we have about a, a week more and maybe more because we really don't know so i'm i'm sending out my love and good vibes to all the ones that uh, are in some ways touched by this pandemic for me it's just uh, work at home and and stuff like that and hope this doesn't last long but really this is a way for me creating it is a way for me to uh, get away from the fear of it all and just uh, stay sane <laughs> on that note guys have a good one see you soon